grown. Okay, so this is this is his mat section, which is all solid. And I usually, hey, stop, be good, faster. I usually will start with the slicker brush <laughs> and fight with him. And do this for a bit and try and pick out a chunk of the top and it'll only go so far before I have to actually switch to the scissors and then with the scissors and these are my scissors I like carefully just stay but just break it into chunks not actually cutting hair off just well some cutting, hair cutting up through Cutting from the skin up to the top. And then when you do a whole pile of those cuts and you break it into sections, some of it you can actually just... It'll, it'll pull out the anything that's kind of loose. You it's can, easier to comb it out. You can pull out some with the scissors. So some pieces you can pull out with the scissors and then you start working on a little section at a time if he'll let you with the brush. I even use the smaller brush and I'll put my fingers behind, kind of underneath the mat because sometimes it scratches his skin. So my fingers are back there. It actually helps break apart the mat in sections. Like that. And it's slow, like it takes, you'll do a little section and then you'll move on. Sometimes you have to change directions and come at it from behind. Stay, buddy. And go a little section at a time and pull it in all directions. And slowly but surely you'll get to a point where it's brushed all the way down to the skin and the hair is, hey, stop. And when you get it to a point where it's pretty much all brushed out, you might be able to get in with the comb, which he does not like if there's still tangles there. But you should be able to get in with the comb then and start pulling out bits. So when all is said and done, you should be able to comb right from the skin. You should be able to see the part at the skin. You should be able to put the comb in and comb it straight out, and there shouldn't be any mat there anymore. So hopefully... Oh, the scissor thing a little closer. Oh, the scissor thing? Okay. A little far back, so I don't know. Okay, hold on. So this is the scissor thing again. Like I break it apart with the scissors, and when I do that, sometimes it'll loosen up little wads of hair. So you can it that really helps break it apart. I don't know if you can see it. I hope like it just releases bits of fur like that. Just sort of like the cutting thing that you did. Oh, and then like it's still it's just solid right here. So I just carefully slide this under just along the skin and just lift up so you know you're not cutting any skin and just break apart that chunk. And then I'll do it in probably three or four directions. So there's all these lumps. I mean, you've probably already done this, but... So the whole area then is broken apart. See, this stuff up here is still good. It's not tangled. So I'll just stay in this area. And the more you break it apart, honestly, the more this stuff just pulls out on its own. And then it's even easier. You don't have to try and pull it out with the brush. It just pulls out in chunks. If you do too much cutting, it's all, you will end up cutting off a lot of the fur. But, sorry buddy. But it makes it much easier to start separating it with the brush then.